Tuhoi tried to uphold the peace compact, however the Crown didn't necessarily deliver on that and didn't uphold the promises that they made to Tuhoi. In June 1872, at Rotahuna, Te Whetsu was formed as an expression of Tuhoi um, reclaiming and reaffirming their manamotu hake. The purpose of Te Whetsu was to carry on the spirit of peace and quietness and that was the founding principle of Te Whetsu I know some people suggest that it was something akin to representing the rohe and the, the hapu uh, of Tuhoe and was legitimately the voice of Tuhoe. They were very much against further surveying of, of their rohe. They were against leasing of land, the sales of land. Even the road they, they saw as a symbol of encroachment and invasion. So they were against that, and especially any Crown agency that would come into the Rohe, like the Native Land Court, or any kind of process or system that the Crown was wanting to use instead of tikana. Owners, they were forced to give up land to pay for the surveys. Most of all, we remember in our history the loss of Tahora Tuararangaia um, as, uh, as, as example and Matahina, the one that uh, the pain that has endured and is very fresh in ourselves was the Waiohau fraud, uh, which really ended up in the whole displacement of uh, Atuhoe Hapu removed uh, from their lands, marched off by soldiers.